Okay, if you were to ask me what dogs eat, and everybody everybody differs, and that was the study, I would say something like that. Um, everybody's different. I'm using my, I'm not sure if you can see my point or you can't. Everybody's different on what they think the dogs should eat, but I, I don't like giving exact percentages, but I am going to in the next slide. Um, you know, dogs eat an awful lot of meat muscle, 60, 70% muscle. That can be any meat of any animal, essentially, any herbivorous animal. Um, so, you know, you've got your beef, your duck, your pork, lamb, which most of it is sheep, let's face it, uh, fish, anything, um, whole fish. The only, the only meat I would take a little bit of care of would be some fish. I would f feed fish, fish from frozen because fish can have some worms in it that dogs haven't evolved up beside it, so they're quite susceptible to them. All the rest of the meats and stuff, there's no worms in the meat chain, so don't be worried about worms from beef. Um, various types of organ meat, eggs, hearts, like, you know, I could talk all day, but that's, that's how much meat muscle they eat. Then they eat excreting organ. That E organ is excreting organ. That's like pancreas and liver and kidney. Don't get too bogged down in this, guys. I'm just giving you a rough idea of, of the proportions. Then there's raw meaty bone, maybe 10%, 15% bone. Who knows? They get more someday and less the other days. You're not exactly measuring it up every day. And then some plant material, if you like, which usually involve greeny type stuff. And some people even use some carbs, like sweet potatoes or um, even, even a bit of porridge. Some people, did you know, it's, somebody asked me, like, you know, what's the cheapest raw dog food you can make? And I can make raw dog food very, very cheap for people. And that's really, that's an important question, sadly, for quite a large portion of the market, because people don't have a lot of cash. And now they're realizing that this eats the most expensive diet known to man, meat. Okay, so that can be difficult if you've got three German shepherds looking to you for food. But if you are feeding a dry pet food that contains 60% corn or wheat, then I would argue that a raw dog food made where 60% of it, 70% of it is really good quality mix of meat, muscle, excreting organ, raw bone, and you put in 30% porridge, I wouldn't apologize for that. That's fine. That's okay. That's a hell of a lot better than the dry food you're eating, 40% porridge. I mean, that's an extremely high amount of filler that the dog doesn't need. And if you can find cheaper meats there, that's great. Hearts and tripe and stuff are used to pad out raw dog food because they're so cheap. I'm just making the point that some people use carbs. It's a bit of a hangover from the dry food thing, but uh, I do use a bit of veg. I don't use fruit, certainly not in the, in the pre-made, really. Um, like I use a tiny bit of uh, blackberries or blueberries, but that's more medicinal. I don't throw in lumps of melon and stuff or banana in the food. So if you want to get a bit more proportionally wise, I would say the ratios are something like five, one, 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 which is five parts meat to one part organ. You can see the little arrows there with tripe and heart pointing off to the left-hand side. They are organ meats, but they're just plain organ meats. They don't have any sexy kind of endocrine, exocrine functions. They're just meat, so and they're cheap. So we use them to pad up raw dog foods, and uh, that's that's the filler in raw dog food. Excellent filler. So um, you have various different types of bones. Do you, do I recommend veg? I do a little bit of veg. Um, any types of veg. Studies show that dogs are not only have been have bumped into uh, plant matter in the past they wouldn't have evolved those genes otherwise and a number of other things you know um hepatic gluconase and a few other things but uh they can eat it they can digest it when it's ground up a little bit and dark greens have just got so much good stuff in them like it's just it'd be a crime not to give it to them in my opinion a blueberries or blackberries a little pinch of them now and again throw them out into the grass give them something to do fantastic food for an animal and then extra bits, you know, so yes, I've got garlic there. Guys, I don't want to get into the garlic conversation at the moment, but garlic is so safe, it's ridiculous. There isn't a study you're going to show me where a garlic hurt a dog. Um, there's an, one overdose study by Lee um, a few years ago where they force fed, get this, 120, the equivalent of uh, 25 cloves of raw garlic a day, okay, to a beagle for seven days. 25 raw cloves, that's 125 grams of raw garlic a day. That would lay out a can like um, an elephant, let alone a, a poor beagle for seven days, and after seven days his blood was very wrong. You betcha. Garlic is from the onion family. It does contain some of the sulfur compounds. Thiosulfate's the most famous one. But it's nothing like onion. Don't feed onion to dogs, but small amounts of garlic, incredible. Fantastic anti-helminthic worms hate it. They won't locate in an animal that's taken garlic. Plenty of studies there on that. Uh, I love a little bit of garlic now and again. A bit of cod liver oil tablets if you like, you know, can't be a bit of omega-3. Don't forget your herbs. Start looking up what herbs are cool in dogs. Why not? I mean, they're cheap. You buy, you grow them in a little pot out the back garden. You grow your pet a little herb garden, you know. Put down a little bit of parsley. If you don't have, if your dog doesn't have access to fresh grass, which they need, then you need to grow in a pot and the dog can just nibble at it when he needs it uh, for whatever reason. It's usually kind of a digestive. Um, 
So uh, there's lot, lots of other herbs. I recommend a, a pet herb garden, three or four herbs. German chamomile, so easy to grow. Burdock, my God, it's so good for kidneys and they'll eat it when they're sick. And if I see a dog eating that stuff, I'll go, hmm, he's not too happy. But they know about self-medicinal because their nose, they know how to feed themselves. They, they, 